there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right, before we move on, hit that like, share, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. Hit that little bell. It notifies when I got new stuff. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on my Facebook page. It's down in the description. It's easy peasy, real easy to follow. All right, moving on forward to the... Uh, Transformers, the uh, little junior target masters. Today I'm doing quick mix. Uh, he has um, his little target masters are um, oh, Boomer and Ricochet is the blue one. All right, well, let's learn a little something about this fella. Here we go. All right, G1 Quick Mix is an absent minded chemist whose demeanor is nearly as volatile as the chemicals he works with. He is accomplished in his trade and is readily capable of uh, devising new compounds and ways of combating the Decepticons, but his impatience and absent-mindedness often results in unfinished projects and experiments. He has a short temper and his Autobot allies make sure to give him a wide berth because of, of it. After all, the dude works with chemicals. Quick Mix is a double target master and has partnered with the Boomer and Ricochet. Although he never was in the cartoon, he was in the older comic series and that's really where he's known for. Um, he hasn't really made it into anything else. So it'd be pretty cool if we got some more fiction from this guy and the rest of the uh, Junior Target Masters. All right, well that's a little something, a little tidbit about uh, Quick Mix. And here we'll look at his uh, little Target Masters. This is uh, Boomer. And he's got some nice blue paint and kind of a grayish kind of, you know, paint up there on the legs and the arms. So he's painted up pretty good. Awesome. Very nice. He just got the little barrel. He just flips over. It's kind of tight, so be careful. And then you got um, Ricochet. He's the blue one, and he's got some. He's got a gun that looks on the side, yellow, and some yellow on the face, and some red paint down there. Well, that's pretty neato. So these are painted pretty good. <laughs> you just flip out the little barrel, and there you go. And they got two sides. You know, only two ports on this one, not like Scoop, but he's got one on this side and one on this side on his barrel. So let's take a look at Quick Mix, and here he is. He's a cement truck. It's pretty cool. Very nice. And on the side. And on the back. It's pretty cool how this flips out. This little barrel, is it sinks down. He had to push it up to flip over the, you know, the arms and everything. But it's got some nice yellow paint on the windows. That's pretty nice. And it's got some stickers. No, that's chrome. That may be chrome. That's chrome right there for the headlights and everything. So very nice. And it's got stickers up here. And stickers on the right there. And up there. Stickers are pretty good. They don't look damaged at all. You don't have an Ottawa symbol. Yeah, he does have one here. Back there. I'm sorry. But they will show it in a robot mode. And you got this under there. And it rolls just fine. And like I said, you're going to attach these little double target masters and he is ready to pew 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 all right well that is the alt mode for quick mix next to a crap of gonics. next to a bottle of water and toilet paper and here's quick mix transformed like i said you can't hold a double barrel and but you can also just like the scoop you can stack them up and make a ultimate target master if you want to there he is. All right, so nice little head sculpt. It's got some white paint for the face and everything, so it actually look good. And that's about it. It is. It can move up and down because um, to transform it, it sinks down and everything. So it's like at the turtle thing. Whoop. That's pretty cool. Um, move on down. Nothing else really. It's got stickers. Got the Autobot symbol. Uh, only articulation you got up and down like that. Nice ratchet. You can go all the way back if you want to for some reason. And I mean, this does bend, but I don't count that as anything. So, yeah, you know, easy peasy just right there. Not much to it. <laughs> all right, that is uh, the Target Master Quick Mix. All right, there he is next to the uh, kind of a homage to Quick Mix. This is the Cybertron Quick Mix. Uh, he didn't have the Target Masters or anything, but. You know, and he's more, you know, got the colors of Scoop, you know, the uh, review I just did, uh, than this guy. But it's kind of a, you know, a nod to him, so that's pretty cool. Little tip of the hat. All 
All right, there he is next to a regular Target Master, and you got that cog back there from the uh, Siege line, which I wish they would do some stuff for Siege for these um, Junior Target Masters, and you got some different lines and everything just to show scale. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, toilet paper, and squeaks doll. All right, final thoughts on this guy. I think they're pretty cool. I think I think you should get them if you collect G1. You know, if you're going back and doing all that stuff for the nostalgia and everything, um, I think you do definitely. Get, I think you definitely need to get the uh, Junior Target Masters. They're pretty cool. You get two little, you know, Target Masters and everything. And you know, like I said in the scoop, I like you know the uh, Constructicon things. You know, the vehicles and everything. So I love the you know you know cement mixer kind of truck thing so that's pretty cool you know stickers are looking good on this one probably don't need no repro labels or anything which I need to do that I need to go get some repro labels and uh, fix up some of my G1 stuff but yeah he's pretty cool I like scoop in him they go together well so yeah all right well uh, I'm gonna get on the floor I'm gonna do some floor time why don't you join me and be my neighbor all right all right all right all right man I think these need some updated uh, figures and everything in third party or I know Takara and them's not going to get to these, but it'd be cool if they did something for the chug line, like I said, the Siege or something. That'd be pretty cool to, you know, put all three of these and everything in the in the Decepticon ones. I think they really need an updated version. It'd be awesome. You know, who do I, can't go wrong with Target Masters. Come on now. Yeah, I think these need an updated version. You know, a quick mix, you know, from Cybertron was kind of a homage, but he actually has the colors of uh, Scoop, you know, so... You know, it was kind of a, a, you know, a nod towards this guy, but, you know, not really. He didn't have any Target Masters. He used the Cybertron key and everything, so. But at least they, you know, made a homage to him and everything, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, at least they have no articulation at all, man. Hardly just the fists or arms, whatever. You just you had to use your imagination swooping in. Woo! Fighting and everything. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, that was my review over uh, Generation 1 Target Master Quick Mix. Uh... Tell me what you thought about it. Go down and hit me with some comments and all that good stuff. And uh, tell me if you got these guys, if you like them and everything. If they need updated versions and all that stuff, tell me that all good stuff. Go down and hit that like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. I really appreciate that. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. And I guess I'll see you on the next review. And as always, hell Hasbro. And good night, folks. Oh, yeah. Double the power. Quick mix.